start by assessing your game. Baylor, how'd you, how'd you feel like you did out there? Uh, yeah, it definitely came out real fast. Had a couple of big plays, really carried some momentum for us. And I mean, it's easy to do when you got guys uh, like we do up front and the backs that we do. The run game got started really early for us. Um, overall, pretty solid day on offense, but obviously we got some things to work on, uh, especially in the red zone, getting into fourth and goal a couple of times there and having that four and out on that drive, but um, pretty good day overall. How much fun is it to throw a deep ball to your brother and have it go for a touchdown? That, that, that's got to be a classic. You guys just got to dream about that. Right? Yeah, it's all right, I guess. <laughs> Sean and then Mitch. Understated answer of the century, Baylor, and I appreciate it so much. Uh, when did you, it's, it's obviously really, really tough to, uh, to, to kind of be ready to come in and not necessarily be the starter like in the first three games, but when did you know that you were going to get to start this week and did you kind of have any, any sense, I guess, in practice leading up to it with whether or not, you know, Jaron was 100% and that kind of a thing or did you kind of find out pretty pretty late in the uh, calendar week? Um, early on Monday, I started taking reps at the one. I didn't really know for sure not what Jaron's status was going to be until uh, really Wednesday. But uh, I mean, starting on Monday, I was practicing as if I was going to start this game. Baylor, do you feel like your or your opportunity to be in this uh, first team, you know, this first team unit right now? Does it give you? Does it feel like it give you a chance to uh, compete for the job permanently uh, going forward? Uh, I mean, that's a coach's decision. I don't think anyone should ever lose a job due to injury. But again, that's in the coach's hands. Okay, and then Jared. Yeah, uh, Gunner, uh, was the script all along to come out just slinging the ball downfield like you did so, so effectively? I mean, that's always the game plan. Run the ball, throw the ball deep, and it you know it worked out for us tonight. Hey, look, talk about the way the game started. To be able to score four touchdowns on four of the first five possessions and have a 28-6 to six lead at halftime, that, that – I imagine you're pleased with how the offense was able to do. Yeah, I mean, our goal when we touch the ball is to score touchdowns every single possession, and that happened in the first half. And, you know, things slowed down a bit in, in the second half for us. We didn't get very many possessions and didn't take advantage of, uh, I mean, that one opportunity in the red zone to score another touchdown. Um, but again, overall, pretty good night on offense. That kind of touched about the other thing I wanted to ask. How tough is it? The offense is going well. And the other team just, you know, grinds out these long drives and you have to sit on the sidelines and kind of wait for your opportunity. I know you support the defense, but but just waiting to try and keep that momentum going offensively, how hard is that? Um, I don't know if it's necessarily hard to keep the momentum. It's, um, it's obviously hard when you don't get as many possessions like we did in the second half. But just being supportive of our defense, I mean, they've had our backs for the first three games and tonight we were able to have their backs in a sense. Um, but yeah, just you know, staying warm on the sidelines as, as best you can and being ready to go score out the next drive. So um, any other questions for Baylor? All right, you're good to go. Thank you.